Today's Snow Motion Chairlift interview is with Chris Davenport. He has so many titles, I don't, don't know where to begin. Chris, tell us what you do. What do I do? Well, uh, I'm a skier first and foremost, so a chairlift interview is very appropriate. But no, I've had a long career in skiing, and I've been two-time world champion in extreme skiing. I've won a medal in the X Games and uh, won endurance events like the 24 Hours of Aspen. I was a ski racer you know, before all that. That's where you got your technique? That's where I got the technique. But now I'm really focused on mountaineering and backcountry skiing and kind of climbing and skiing things. You know, about seven years ago, I, I climbed and skied all the 14ers in Colorado. That was uh, 54 peaks in 2006 That's and seven. Amazing. And uh, now I've got another project trying to ski the 100 highest mountains in the state. We call them the Centennial Peaks. So that's going to take up a lot of my spring, but I still have my hands in a lot of different aspects of the skiing world and skiing business. Now, how many, how tall are those 100 peaks? So the, the Centennial Peaks in Colorado, the 100 highest mountains, are all above 13,811 feet. Okay, so you've got 54 that are above 14,000, and then 46 that are above 13,800, and that's the, the 100. But there's actually, you know, Colorado has the most high mountains of any state or any region in North America. We've got 600 mountains over 13,000 feet. It is a special so, place. To me, I see that number and it just it means like 600 possible adventures, right? There's a lot of mountains to go do cool stuff on. We get great snow and uh, as long as the avalanche danger isn't too high, you can go out and play and, and have, a, have a, a lifetime's worth of adventures here. It's fun. So, okay, tell me more about, so you're now a new investor into Kessley or owner? Yes, yes. I bought part of Kessley Skis or invested in the company this past summer. So I sit on the board of directors in Austria and uh, I'm a shareholder. And actually, just a few days ago, we opened up a USA subsidiary. So we have Kessley Skis Inc. USA, a, a, a wholly uh, owned US company. And so it's been really fun trying to grow this side of my business, uh, involvement in the ski business. And uh, we've made great product and the skis are ripping and they're all over the mountain here today, which is great to see. Oh, was your head cold? <laughs> It's cold out. It was it was uh, ten below zero this morning when I came up here. It's and so beautiful. It we're lucky. I know. And now wait, look at my cute hat, and it matches my jacket. You do look good, <laughs> style maven. But Brenda. I ski down with the helmet. Don't worry, everyone. Nice. Ski everyone should. Helmet. Yeah. Okay. So, I uh, when I I sit at my desk and I just see some of your Facebook posts. Steep skiing. What is it? Steep skiing. Steepskiing.com has been my website for many many years. Even though it's really ChrisDavenport.com now, but. All my social media is Steep Skiing. So if you can find me on Facebook, my name is Steep Skiing, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I use social media a lot in my business. No, you're trying I've to teach got, me, I love it. Yeah, I've got uh, <laughs> many, many tens of thousands of followers and it's really fun to share all of our adventures out there and inspire people to get out and do cool stuff. So Chris, how do you make a living? So I make a living as a professional skier, but what that means, and people often ask, you know, what, is that, what does a pro skier do? I probably make uh, 50 to 60% of my income on endorsements. So all my sponsors, you know, companies like Aspen Snowmass, Kessley, Spider, Smith, Red Bull, GoPro, Cliff Bar, Black Diamond, Backcountry.com, Audi, uh, all these great partners that I get to work with. But then uh, another large chunk of my income is, is guiding, taking private clients all over the world. I've taken people up Mount Everest and Denali in Alaska, heli skiing all over the world, and I run great camp programs in uh, South America in the summer times. And you know we ski at Aspen, and so wherever people want to go, I try to make their ski dreams come true. And then beyond that, some public speaking, like corporate group speaking engagements. I talk a lot about risk management with groups from banks to attorneys' offices, you know, all sorts of uh, professionals. Is that a little bit with your uh, avalanche training and things like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of use my life in the mountains and all the risky things that I do as a vehicle to talk about risk as it would apply to businesses. And so that's a, that's really fun because uh, there's risk in business, but you're not going to die. You're just going to lose money. Whereas when I'm out there, I can die every day. So I have to take it really seriously. It makes you a good risk manager. Um, what else? Oh, I've written a couple books. Those continue to sell really well. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about that's about no it. No laying on the couch at all <laughs> yeah. for Chris Davenport. It doesn't add up to very much, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> so we're, we're nearing the top of Copper Mountain, Colorado right here. It is cold, but beautiful. And actually some of the Centennial Peaks, the oh, high yeah. 13ers There's... are right over here. So when we get to the top, I'll point them yeah, out okay. to you. Let's go, I guess. Okay, well, thanks for having me on the chairlift. <laughs> good talking to all you guys. Follow Chris Davenport, wow. And we'll, we'll see and hear about it when you finish the Centennial Peaks. Yes, this spring, April and May 2014, I will be finishing these, uh, these big mountains. Are we gonna get off? I guess. So we'll stay, get off. stay Let's tuned. Let's get on. <laughs> stay tuned.